Hey Saggies, welcome to the weekly love reading for Sagittarius, so Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from October 12th to the 21st, but keep in mind, time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. We all work through energy differently, and like I said, time is fluid, okay? So Saggies, let's get into your meditative session first, and then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we'll do the reading. Sag, I picked up on a very, um, how do I say this, a very calculating energy, that I think you're dealing with. I definitely don't think this is a Sag, okay? <laughs> I, like, it almost feels very like opposite of a Sagittarian kind of energy. Keep in mind, anybody's capable of anything, right? So take this as it resonates because it's energy that I'm picking up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or it could be energy from someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to, okay? Very predictable energy, very almost robotic even. Some might even actually be very robotic in the way they speak or the way that they kind of uh, exhibit like their body language could be kind of robotic but this feels like someone who's very much of the mind very logical very calculating here and Sag I think you've been finding it very frustrating to deal with this person um for some of you this is someone coming back from your past you haven't been dealing with for a while um so you're gonna have to be confronted with this energy to kind of get some closure on something or to just deal with something it is mercury retrograde season we're coming into so that's going to be a theme for a couple months okay so as others of you this is someone in your workplace even someone within your own family okay and i do feel sources of contention between you and this person um and it's interesting, Sag, because you're so not like that, right? It's like this person's all about the mind, logical strategy. They go with calculated strategic moves, okay? But you, Sag, you're very intuitive and you're a Sag, you know? It's like you thrive on passion and feeling and fire. It's like you go with your gut. You go with your gut, you go with what your heart's telling you, you go with what your intuition's telling you. That's how Sagis operate because you're the seers. You're the intuitive fire sign and you're not afraid to go there. Sagis can be very fearless, right? So a lot of you tend to make decisions or make moves in your life based off of your, into own, uh, your own intuition or what you're feeling in the moment. The person you're dealing with doesn't know how to do that, like at all. This person feels very disconnected from their emotional body or their heart space even, and sacral, I'm also getting sacral. But Sag, it's actually working to your advantage, okay? Because this person, it's interesting, this person kind of looks at that part of you like a weakness but it's actually your strength. It's actually your strength. And they don't realize that because they're not capable of that. Because Sagis, you're also very intelligent. You're the philosophers, right? You're capable of making strategic decisions, but you also know from your own experience that it's so important to listen to your intuition in making moves and decisions. It can't just be all logic-based. It also has to be based on your intuition on what feels right and what feels so wrong, no matter how good it looks on paper, right? This person doesn't understand that. This person doesn't know how to do that. And so they're looking at you like, for some of you, this is a manipulative energy. For some of you, it is. And for those where it is, you already know you have the upper hand because they look at you as having this as a weakness and not a strength. When in reality, that's their weakness is thinking that's your weakness. Does that make sense? So in their mind, they think they have the upper hand because they're doing all these calculated moves, logical, calculated, strategic ways of thinking, doing, talking. But at the end of the day, this person can fall prey to other people because they don't listen to their intuition. They're not tapped into their intuition. And Sag, you're so tapped in. So for those of you where it's a manipulative person, you already know you have the advantage, okay? And you're gonna let this person do whatever the hell they think they can do or get away with. And at the end of the, at the end of the day, <laughs> if I can speak, at the end of the day, it's gonna work in your favor, okay? Some of you, this is a boss, a coworker. Some of you, this is even a friend. Um, yeah, oh, oh, Saggies, I'm getting a little bit of a download. <sighs> for some of you, this is a friend. Mm. And I think for a while, maybe you've been really enjoying your time with them, but for some reason, something has flipped, something switched, there's been a shift of some kind. And you're seeing them for who they are? Yeah, Sag, and you're seeing them for who they are? And, oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like this. Some of you might be disappointed, but at the same time, you're like, I'm glad I know. I'm glad I know. Oh, Sag, this is gonna be very interesting. All right, so let's get into the pre-shuffle here. Keep in mind, guys, pre-shuffle usually pertains to the reading, but sometimes we get extra messages, so just hang out if it's not resonating. And of course, this is a general read for thousands of people. <laughs> so there's gonna be other details that come up that don't pertain to your situation, but just throw out the details that don't pertain to you, okay? It's for someone else. 
Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, yeah, Sag. It's like, you know this person. It's like, is, are they playing a game? I think they inevitably play, inevitably play games. They inevitably, and Jesus, why can't I speak? They inevitably, that's not how you say that, whatever, uh, end up playing mind games because they only know how to be in the mind. Does that make sense? They only know how to be in the mind, so everything to them is a mind game, but they would never tell you that they play mind games because that's just the only way they know how to exist. Wow. This person doesn't know how to just be. They're constantly calculating their next move and what would be beneficial to them. Wow, this person almost feels for some, I don't like the word sociopathic. And I mean, there's a lot of sociopaths walking around in the world, but this person almost has like no real feeling to them. I don't like it. For some of you, that's the case. Some of you, this person's just very cold hearted. No empathy, that's what it is, thank you. They have no empathy. Which is also why they don't know how to be intuitive with people because they're not empathetic. They can't feel what other people feel. Very void-like. I don't like it. Very void-like. Some of you, this is a narcissist. There's a spectrum of energy here, people. So just, again, take this as it resonates. For some of you, this is a narcissist. Uh, some of you, they just actually have... Um, how do I say this? Some of you, they've had a lot of trauma. So they avoid the heart space because if they were to tap into it, they would just like they'd be so overwhelmed and they wouldn't be able to function very well. They'd have to take a lot of time to heal and this person's not going to do that. Please bring forth any messages for truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Some of this is definitely a family member. Some of this is definitely a family member. And in that case, I do feel a little bit of a confrontation, which is why you're playing it smart. Because again, it's like, you know this person doesn't have... They're not connected to their emotional body. They're always strategizing on how to get what they need from other people. Wow. So this is a family member. You already know that. And you're going to be using that to your advantage. I think some of you might even bait this person. Oh, Sag, what are you up to? Some of you might bait this person because you know that's how they function. And that they're not they're not very intuitive and they wouldn't be able to see it coming. Ooh, Sag, what are you doing? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, October 12th to the 21st. Okay, that feels good. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, they're showing me a lizard, which I guess is very indicative of the energy, right? Lizards are very predictable. They're very robotic. Um, oh, and I just, oh, I just heard basic. <laughs> Sag, you look at this person like they are so basic. <laughs> oh my God, now we're throwing shade, Sag? Okay, okay. Losing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Wow. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're the ones who've been struggling and suffering here. They could also be in the financial hole. I do feel an energy of debt. I do feel an energy of debt here. Um, ooh. For some that are dealing with energy vampires, or not true blue narcissists, um, they run out of supply. Oh, this is interesting. They run out of victims essentially and Sag I think that's why this person's coming to you some of you and for those in that group this is someone from your past without a doubt they need they need supply they need they need energy they need love because they have none they need empathy because they have none they're looking for their next victim and I think you've already been a victim of this person for those in that group okay that's only for some of you others you are dealing with a family member I uh, um ooh, who the jig is up oh this is interesting the jig is up if you've been dealing with a family member who fits this bill of being cold, stoic, or just lacking total empathy, or even a narcissist or a bit of a manipulator, again, all in the headspace, I think they did, they, I think they, they put a lot of games into play in the family environment. That's coming to light and they might've been shunned recently. They might've been shunned recently. There's this energy of isolation. Isolation and being down and out or being even oppressed here, hungry. They're, they're hungry. They're hungry for stability. They're hungry. For, they're Again, they're hungry for empathy, but they have none. This feels like an energy vampire for those where it's family. Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, major isolation. Major isolation. Hermit is a meditative energy. It's about going within. I feel like you're sensing something's coming, Sag. I feel like it's actually your energy. I feel like you can sense that something's about to happen, or like I said, the sensing a shift here. Even those where it's like, it was that friend that I was picking up on. 
they're 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 struggling because they it's this energy of not having a supply and not having access um it's so interesting sag because this person is so when i say mental i just mean of the mind is so of the mind that they don't even realize how starved they are emotionally and you can sense something's coming your way which is why i think you've been going within a little bit to kind of make sure your intuition's on point yeah to make sure your intuition's on point and that you're prepared for what's coming blazing forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it could be done with a virgo or a taurus but not necessarily i also get in cancer and scorpio i just heard crustacean that made me think of scorpio and um cancer three of swords in reverse libra energy hold on clyde no <laughs> sorry guys yeah i feel like this energy is attached to the hermit sag i feel like recently you've had some purging going on or some old wounds of the past have come up they've come up because something's coming something from your past is coming back here okay um some of you might even be feeling lonely for no reason and you're wondering why and you're going within to try to address those wounds because they need to be healed and like i said they're coming up right now to be dealt with to be closed out whether you're dealing with someone in your life who feels very oppressed or feels cut off from an empathy supply again very indicative of energy vampire um or you're dealing with your own feelings of loneliness and you're going within to try to heal that like i said some of you can feel these people coming from your past and it's putting you on alert and it's making you address these wounds a little earlier on so you can be more on your game to deal with them. Please bring forth messages. And there it is. There's the confrontation. There's the conversation. And look, it sorts. <laughs> like I said, a mental of the mind, calculating, Gemini energy. I love Geminis, but yes, Geminis, very calculating, right? Also your natural seventh here. Some of you, this is a romantic interest that you're dealing with now or that you did, you dealt with in the past, okay? For those where it's someone who's been in your life continuously, like there hasn't been separation, you're just realizing now how calculating they are, okay? Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, there's gonna be a conversation. Oh, mm. King, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shake the camera. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Some of you definitely deal with a Taurus, but again, not necessarily, or even a cusper here. Yeah, whoever is approaching you, Sag, in this calculating conversation, King of Pentacles in reverse is a controlling energy. It's also manipulative ener energy. It's also very insecure kind of energy here, okay? And being in reverse, there is a lack of empathy, just explicitly with the meaning of that card. You're definitely dealing with someone who's strategic, and you know it, you're realizing it, for those where it's been someone in your life, you're seeing them for who they are, and it is disappointing, but you're you're ready to take it on, you're ready to deal with it, and you do have the advantage because you can do you can make decisions uh, from your heart space and intuitively. This person is only their head, not intuition, but just calculating, almost like um, Clyde. Sorry, Clyde. Uh uh, get down. Sorry guys, give me a second. No, why are you acting out? Stop it. Thank you. Sorry, guys. He's been like this all day. Mm. Either way, Sagis, I know you're going to handle it just fine. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. For some, they are money focused. And like I said, some of you, these people have struggled uh, financially recently. And in that case, I do feel like it's someone who's been separated from you or there's been distance. And now they're coming in because they've got money on the brain and they want to and that's their strategy. That's their end game. How can I talk to Sag? How can I get Sag to either take care of me financially or to give me some money? Mm. You're on alert, Sag. You already know. Uh-huh. Two of swords, moon and Libra energy. And what are we going to do about it? I do feel confrontation here, too. This is usually a stalemate energy. They're gonna try really hard to get what they want out of you, Sag. I'm not gonna let them. You're not gonna let them. And there are, they are gonna get frustrated with you, especially if you're dealing with a true blue narcissist. They are gonna get very, very frustrated with you, okay? So don't let that rattle you. All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Oh my God, 15 minutes in, Jesus. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the reading here, okay? Um, <clears throat> For those who are new to my channel channel or new to tarot, please understand these are very general messages, okay? Messages come through for those who need to hear them, as you heard me set the intention before. So it's not going to be for everybody. If this isn't your message, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't need to throw hate or shade. 
just check out another reader on YouTube. There's a lot of fabulous ones on here. We are working with energy, and like I said, energy can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating with you and you just got to switch the roles, just switch them. You already know who you are in the story if it's resonating, right? Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon. Yep, that's about it. And then any other questions or inquiries, you can check information below. There's a lot of info down there. Okay. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? For those where this is a romantic interest that you've been separated from, because like I said, some of you, this has been someone who's been in your life concurrently where there's been no breaks. Okay, continuously is the more proper word, more accurate word. Um, if this is someone who's been in your life continuously with no breaks, then you already know that that's your case. But some of you, this is someone returning. For those where it's a romantic interest, they will claim that they've changed. Use your intuition here, Sag. Also, when it comes to romantic interest coming back, there's nothing wrong with putting them through the ringer. And what do I mean by that? If someone really wants to say they've changed, make them prove it. You don't gotta believe them right away. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you don't gotta believe them right away. Make them prove it. And not just like a little like one day test or a week test. Be like, oh, you want back in with me? Give it three months. Start over from scratch. Be like, oh, if you've really changed, three month rule. <laughs> and see how they respond to that. Just saying, it's advice. You don't got to take my advice. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Yeah, and again, to paraphrase, just I don't want to confuse anybody. For those where this has been a person who's been in your life continuously, you're just seeing now who they really are. And it's totally giving you the upper hand. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Hanged man, Piscean energy here. So this is more about getting enlightened and also growing. I'm getting a lot of healing energy with this as well. Feels very voluntary. Sag, I feel like this is your energy actually. It could be vice versa, so take it as it resonates. But I feel, <laughs> it's getting all caught up in my glasses. I feel like you've had to take a time out. I think, like I said, because there's been some purging going on for you, Sag, some stuff has come up, some wounds have been triggered, and you've kind of needed time to deal with it, but it feels like divine timing because it happened just as you're about to deal with this situation. It happened just as you're about to deal with the situation. And for some of you, where it's so, been someone who's been continuously in your life, I think they said something or did something that triggered a wound for you. And then you go to heal it, and then it's making you realize who this person really is. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Let's see here. Oh my. We have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water here with Judgment, Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Five of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. Sagis, I feel like this is you over here. You could be a cusper, but not necessarily. Um, this is an energy of understanding what needs to happen and and having a resolution. Five, of, <coughs> excuse me. Five of Swords in reverse is peace. It's forgiveness. It's acceptance. Judgment is reconciliation, absolution, resolution. With you being in the Queen of Pentacles and reverse energy, I feel like you have again more of the energy you've been going within, going within and focusing on yourself. We did get the King of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle session, so this is definitely regarding a soulmate of yours. Soulmates don't have to be romantic interests. They can also be friends, family, coworkers, otherwise. Okay, but you're realizing that there needs to be a closure here. Oh. You're realizing that there needs to be a closure here. But you're going within to, to basically figure out your best strategy. Closure just means closing out a cycle, closing out an issue. It doesn't mean accepting the person back, okay? It doesn't mean accepting the person back. It means dealing with the issue and being done with it. <laughs> That's what that means, okay? Some either might be forgiveness in the sense of wanting to take back a romantic interest, but just make sure you're really tapped into your, into your intuition to know if this person's legit or not. Because I'm getting this person again is very calculating. At least that's how you see, oh, that's interesting. They're telling me that's how you see them. 
if they have truly changed, because for a lot of you, they probably haven't, just being honest, for those where this person has truly changed, person coming back from the past, I think that's how they've been. They might try to tell you otherwise. For some of you, it could be true, but everyone's situation is different. You have to decide for yourself using your own intuition, your own gut, and also just, you know, your own intelligence to figure out if they're telling the truth or not. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love? And for those where this person's been in your life continuously and you're realizing who they are, you're trying to figure out how to close the, the issue once and for all. And for some, that does mean removing the person from your life. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Oh, that's it. Overall, oh, look at this. Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy. Happy, happy happiness. <laughs> also, wish fulfillment. This is you just being comfortable, being comfortable, being happy, being content. And no one can take that away from you. Yeah, you're, you're focusing on what's going to make you happy in the long run when it comes to this person coming back for you or dealing with someone in your life that you're seeing who they really are. Okay, what decision is going to be best for you for your happiness? And this person is cold, is a little calculating, is a little just of the mind, not really in their emotional bodies, okay? And that is your advantage. So let's look at the hangman. Let's look at your, your spiritual period, okay? Your spiritual pause. This is my spiritual pause card. Let's take a look at this because I do feel a lot of healing coming in here for you. It's almost like getting you ready for this. It is. It's getting you ready for this. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Let's find out the hangman. I have the hangman for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Any, no, ah, so I'm with the hangman. Mm. That's interesting, that was weird. Um, this person, something about like speech. Um, when you talk to this person, for some of you, I think it's like, do they block your throat chakra? They do something to your speech when you're talking to them. This is really fascinating. It might just be the way they go about conversations. They might, oh, they might stun you a lot when you're talking. Leave you speechless a lot when you're speaking. <clears throat> Talk about the hangman for Sagittarius. I did just hear Pisces. Talk about the hangman for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. One more. Okay. Sign up the hangman for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Ooh, yeah, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Being very much trapped in this situation with, yeah, I, I feel like your fears are coming up. Your fears have been triggered, Sag, and it feels deep. It feels like deep fears, very indicative of the full moon Aries energy that we're experiencing. Your fears have been triggered and you really can't do much until you deal with it. You can't do much until you deal with it. Some of you might need to take time off work to deal with this because for some it's also addressing traumas. But it's helping you grow. It's helping you get stronger and it's helping you to deal with this person that you're going to have to be dealing with, okay? Oh my. We've got the moon. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader, with seven of wands in reverse Leo energy. Yeah, like I said, I'm getting intuition with this. Something's being triggered here and it's emotional, but it's amplifying your intuition, okay? And I know it sucks and I know it hurts, but it is putting you in a state of vulnerability. A lot of stuff is coming up here, Sag, but they're triggers and they're wounds and they need to be dealt with. It's very emotional. It feels like very deeply buried emotional fears and trauma. And for those of you where this person's been continuously in your life, they triggered that. They triggered it. Tell me about the hangman. Talk about the hangman for Sagittarius regarding love. Two of Wands, Aries energy. You know you need to take a new path here, Sag. You know you need to. Um, this is part of your spiritual journey. It had to happen this way. I know it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I know it's really uncomfortable. By the way, someone could have a moon in Leo placement or a moon in Gemini placement. Um, but Sag, it had to happen this way. It's helping you set your course and to see clear, to see clear, not just to see this person clear, it's also doing that, but to see your own path in a much clear way. For some of you, this is changing, this is going to help you change a direction in your life. Tell me about the hangman for Sagittarius. Tell me about the hangman for Sagittarius. Overall energy, 
<laughs> King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air underneath that. Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. This is dissipating your anxiety and fears about this person, okay? And again, seeing them for who they really are. And Sag, like I said, for some of you where, you know, this is someone returning from your past, there there is potential for reconciliation here, okay? Because as much as you're getting triggered and like you're dealing with your shit, and then you're gonna have to deal with this person, it's gonna expose this person in ways this person's never been exposed before. And there is potential to have a lot of healing come in for both of you. And yes, that can mend the relationship. I'm not telling you ever, I'm not saying everybody, you're gonna have a healthy relationship with this person. I'm not saying that at all whatsoever. I wanna make that very clear. Cause it's up to them. It's up to them. For some of you, this is about recognizing your own um, patterns, your own patterns that you fall into with people like this or people who fit this kind of archetype so that you no longer do that anymore, okay? So again, take this as it resonates. Um, but with this energy we're in, it is very indicative of doing some majorly deep healing regarding relationships and regarding your own trauma. And it's very possible for you two to come together and mend this if you both put in the effort and you're both honest in doing it. Someone who's this detached from their emotional body, though, that's going to be hard for them to do. I'm just being honest here. Just telling you the options at play, okay? But I think as you do this work, Sag, and like I said, and you come to this person and you're honest about it, but at the same time, again, also understanding how calculating they are. See, that's the thing. When someone's so predictable, this is going to sound terrible, but it's just true. When someone is so predictable, it's really easy to know what to say or do to get them to do what you want. Manipulators who are all of the mind, that is such a weakness for them because they don't understand that people can see how predictable they are in the way they go about things and how predictable they are in the way they manipulate things, which makes it easy to manipulate the manipulator. You got what I'm saying? Um, so if you know how to do that with this person, you can make them face their own wounds here. And if they want to dive in, excuse me, and do their own healing, they will. And if they don't want to, then you already know. Then you already know that it, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that forgiveness and acceptance and mending and coming together in that way ain't gonna happen okay but at the end of the day this is about closure not necessarily getting back together with anybody it's about closing wounds and cycles so on this side Sag like I said you've got judgment and five of swords in reverse you know that you need this to be happy and satisfied and just comfortable and content even if you don't see this person ever again or even if you come together with this person it's all in the name of your happiness and your sanity and this is only going to be happening after you get triggered after you get triggered to do some majorly deep healing here okay are we there okay yeah we're back so we're gonna have to rewatch this <laughs> i can hear you <laughs> like oh my god this is so much information i'm sorry i'm getting a lot of downloads and when that happens i talk really fast you can always rewatch it again all right and i might do a little summary at the end here for those where i speak too fast you can also slow me down if you need me to go slower okay but I talk fast because information comes in fast. So let's look at the Five of Swords in reverse because that's the acceptance and forgiveness that I'm getting here, okay? Mm, it's just spellcasters. So I have a Five of Swords in reverse. But yeah, Sag, this healing that you're doing, it's, it's gonna change some of you in major ways and make you feel like you have to change your course in life, which is why it's happening, because it's time, especially before we hit 2020 trying to see what other um wounds these relate to it's all yeah all these wounds that are coming up for you sag are about fears and trauma yeah they're just telling me fears and trauma and it's making you feel very vulnerable but once you do the healing oh man you're gonna feel amazing you're gonna feel a lot stronger and you're gonna be able to handle this person um in ways that you haven't been able to before so i got five of swords in reverse so i got five of swords in reverse and you know it's funny with people like this they thrive off of fear. They don't realize that. Like, all the decisions they're making are so fear-based. So if you do this healing and you know how to work the person to get them to see their own wounding here, they might realize how afraid they've been. Talk about Five of Swords in reverse and how they lash out out of fear or manipulate people out of fear, out of a need to control. Anytime we try to control anyone or anything, it's because deep down we're afraid. Okay. Talk about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. 
I have a Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Some of you, this is definitely a spouse. They, they want me to bring your attention to that. I don't know why. Some of you, this is definitely your spouse. And this could make way for some major breakthroughs within your marriage, okay? Again, not for everybody, just for those where there's going to be a lot of work put in on both ends. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy here. This is you coming out of that healing period, understanding that there needs to be acceptance and forgiveness on your end. To just put this behind you, in general, to get to this Nine of Cups feeling, even if you cut this person out or get closer with this person, it's all about how much work is being put in on both ends. And you'll get your answer, Sag, on which way it's going to be. Talk about Five of Swords in reverse. Talk about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Talk about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Talking about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Nope. I was like, thought a card fell. I was like, no, it didn't. Talking about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius. Oh, God. Eight of Swords, Gemini energy with the Star in reverse, Aquarian energy. It's interesting because I think you two are marrying each other a little bit for some of you. Like I said, Sag, your fears and your traumas are being brought up from the full moon energy and for some of you being triggered by this actual person. It makes you feel vulnerable, takes you to that real deep emotional place, Right? But you do the healing. You do the healing and you get through it and you're realizing for some of you that it's gonna come down to a choice of how you wanna handle this person from here on out, cutting them out or trying to mend things with them. And when you get to that moment, they're either gonna go for it and mend it with you and go to that emotional place because their fears are gonna get triggered and their traumas are gonna get triggered from you having this conversation with them. So they're either gonna resist and they're gonna be like, chop, chop, or they're gonna jump right in there and be like, okay, okay, I'm triggered, but let's deal with this. Okay, I'm triggered, but I do really wanna make this work with you. You get what I'm saying? You're gonna get your answer, Sag, but you're realizing how afraid they are. That's what this is. You're realizing how afraid they are and the, how much they need healing, how much your connection needs healing here, okay? Only after you do your portion of it. So I mean, this is a counterpart situation. You would already know that without me having to tell you. Tell me about Five of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Five of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Whoa. Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. And then there we go. Queen of Pentacles, you Sag. Keep in mind it can be vice versa. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. Underneath that, we do have the high priestess here, okay? Your intuition is on point, Sag. And like I said, use your intuition here to gauge how to dehandle this person. Like I said, this person's very predictable. And when someone's predictable, it's really easy to kind of work them to get them to see things they otherwise wouldn't have. It's really easy to manipulate someone when they're really predictable, even if they're a manipulator themselves, right? Yeah, using your intuition here, because Six of Swords in reverse, it's like you just, you don't, you want to move past this issue. You want to move past this issue of either dealing with someone who's super manipulative or any issues you have between the two of you that have triggered a lot of your fears and a lot of your traumas. You want to move past it. You just want happiness. I just want to be chill. Every Sag I know just wants to be chill. Like, can we just, be, can we just have fun? <laughs> Can we just have fun and be chill and be happy and merry? Can't we just do that? That's all you want, Sag. That's all you want. It's just a matter of if you're going to be doing it away from this person forever or with this person. You're leaving the choice up to them, essentially, because you'll be damned if you're not going to have peace anymore. You'll be damned. But like I said, so to paraphrase, because that's, that's the gist of this reading, and then we're going to get into some advice, but I know a lot of you feel a little confused here, so I'm just going to start from the beginning. Quick, quick paraphrase. Sag, it looks like all of this is being triggered because you get triggered. You get triggered by this person directly, or just the energies at play are digging up a lot of traumas and fears for you, which again is very indicative of the energy we're in. Please watch the Full Moon Aries video to gain further understanding on that. 
So as this shit comes to surface, as this shit comes to light within yourself, it's making you feel very vulnerable and making you feel very, very, very emotional. And it's kind of like, God damn it, like this is stuff I thought I dealt with or this is stuff that is so deeply buried I've never been aware of it before. And you're going to do your healing process, okay? And after this healing process, some of you might want to take a whole new course in life. Others of you, it's going to come down to a decision on how you handle this person. If you want to cut them out for good, and some of you, this is someone who's been in your life continuously. Others, this is someone returning from your past. You will know, okay? And it's going to come, come down to a decision of, I will try really hard to mend things with this person. In that case, you're going to have to manipulate the manipulator. Manipulate the person who's very predictable to get them to actually see their own wounding to do that. And if they dive in and go, okay, I've got these problems, let's go there, then there's a good chance you guys can work it out because of Jupiter doing all this energy. Again, look at the full moon and Aries video for that information. Or if you're gonna cut this person out altogether because you see the truth of who they really are and your fears about them, your anxiety about dealing with them is dissipated and you're a lot stronger to be ready to handle this conversation, okay? So when the conversation comes, after this healing that you've done, you come to the realization that the only way you're going to feel comfortable, the only way you're going to feel truly happy is if some kind of closure happens between you and this person, okay? If this person's been in your life continuously, you're seeing them for who they are. If this is someone coming back from the past, it's resolving that old issue of what caused you guys to separate in the first place. Either way, you know there has to be forgiveness. You know there has to be acceptance on your end of things to feel better about it. And a lot of you, this is going to be through this conversation, okay? And through this conversation, as you come out of your healing process and confront them, you are going to be triggering them. Okay, this is for those who want to do that mending with them, okay, or who want to try at least because it takes two to tango in this situation. You're going to be pointing out their fears and their traumas, which are all fear based, which is why this person tends to be manipulative, which is why this person tends to be controlling. We're only controlling a manipulative because we're deeply afraid. That's it. it that's where fear comes from. It's ego. It's ego, and which is usually attached to traumas or past hurts or past pains because you're realizing how much this person needs to heal, okay? And it's gotten to the point where you're not going to let your peace be affected no matter what this person wants from you. Because for some, I feel like they're coming in, for those words, someone from your past, they're coming in due to like money issues or feeling like they don't have that supply of empathy and love anymore because they ran out of supply, okay? <laughs> but that's only because they're so detached from their emotional bodies. And if you can get this person to look at their woundings, look at their traumas, they can attach to their emotional bodies again. You have to use your intuition here on how to handle this person. And if this person is legit in what they're actually saying, okay? All right, now let's get some advice. Some of you are very happy I just did that. I can, <laughs> I can feel that, okay. Any advice for my Saggies? regarding this spread mm. any advice for my saggies regarding this spread some of you might realize this person has um mental illness i don't know why that's coming across um some of you might realize this person just is mentally ill and that they need assistance in that arena you can try to bring that up um use your intuition on that one okay because it may or may not go so well any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Hi. Any messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice? Any advice or additional messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice, Spirit? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? <laughs> Spirit's getting quiet. <laughs> ah! Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Oh, there we go. Oh, very nice, Sag. Panther Spirit, reclaim your power, energy of 44. You're definitely coming into this energy as you do your healing. Because you are kind of taking control of the situation, Sag, because after you do this healing, you realize with such clarity now what you have on your hands. 
whether it's someone coming back because you can feel them coming back because you are very intuitive or it's someone who's been in your life and you're like holy fuck that's who they really are and you're going to handle shit because you're not going to deal with what's been going on between you and this person or the energy they left behind or the wounds they left behind on you. Oh, on you. Interesting. Some of you feel scarred from this person. If this is someone returning back or if this is a family member, you feel very scarred. You're taking control and you're bringing your power back because you are not going to deal with this shit anymore. And you'll be damned if anyone messes with your happiness or your peace. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Doo, doo, doo. Oh, spider spirit, make your dreams real. I like that. 56 breaking down to 11. You got two master numbers here. That's pretty intense, Sag. Like I said, for some of you, you're going to take a whole new course in life after this healing process because you're dealing with a lot of deep shit. When you get rid of that deep shit, you feel like a whole new person sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you do. And taking action and being proactive and gaining control of the situation is how you're going to bring um, your manifestations to reality or what you want for yourself to, into reality. You have to put in the work. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the effort, whether you're getting rid of this person, making it work with this person. A lot of you are being proactive in your healing process by doing this and having this conversation. And it's leading to a lot of happiness. It's leading to wish fulfillment for you. And that's awesome. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, they're telling me something about cycles again. Hold on. Sorry, nose gets really itchy when I channel. A lot of you, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I feel like Jupiter is at play here. You are ruled by Jupiter. It is moving into Capricorn in the month of December. Some of you, this could be some deeply rooted shit you've carried with you for um, for like 12 years, that 12 year cycle for Jupiter to cycle through all the signs, right? Um, yeah, for those in that case, think back 12 years ago. Where you were 12 years ago. Was there an event that happened 12 years ago? Or was there an issue that, um, or a pattern, thank you, pattern, they're telling me pattern, a pattern you started to engage in that started about 12 years ago? Even if nothing happened to you 12 years ago, think patterns. What pattern started for you about 10 to 12 years? They're telling me 10 to. About 10 to 12 years ago, that shit's getting wrapped up if you put in the work and effort. Any advice for Sagittarius regarding love and the spread? Any advice or additional messages for Sagittarius regarding the spread? Oh, that's it. Overall, oh my God. Oh, perfect. Dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. You're going to have this talk because you need your peace. You need your peace. You need your sanity. You need your happiness. And you're not going to allow anything or anyone to exist in your life that's not contributing to that. I really like this energy. I'm also getting a very intuitive energy off of this. Very intuitive energy off of this. They're telling me, but they're talking to me about that friend situation again. You know, when we meet people, oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> when we meet people, we meet people for a reason. I know there's that there's that saying, that saying just came to me. Um, season, a reason, or a lifetime. No matter who it is, it's always for a reason. Even if it is for a season or a lifetime, at the end of the day, it's always a reason, okay? For those where this is a friend, where you're seeing them in a new light for the first time and they've been in your life continuously, you did learn a lot from this person, but you've learned what you needed to learn. You learned what you needed to learn and the time is, is up for you and this friend. They're telling me very specifically for those in that friend scenario where you're resonating with this, time is up. You learned what you needed to learn. And at this point, um, it's just gonna start dragging you down. And it's not to be cold, it's not to, it's not to be blunt. People come into our life when they're supposed to and they leave as they should unless we resist it. And when we resist it, we stop our own growth. And then before you know it, you got some towers smacking you in the face to get you back on track, right? Have your honest communications here even if it's just with yourself, because your peace and your happiness is at play and sad, you're coming to some really great stuff here and you're making it happen for yourself. And all of that is gonna start with this massive healing process, dealing with these traumas and fears and dealing with this person, whoever they are to you, okay? If you can get them to see their own shit, their own traumas and fears, and they dive into it, that is beautiful. And I really wish it ha I really hope it happens for most of you that way. But if you need to realize who this person is to cut them out, realize that and make some hard decisions here. Okay? All right, Sag. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Sag. Namaste.